During the liberation struggle, many Namibians who went into exile sought refuge in Angola, while others made that country their second home. When Angola became independent in 1975 and with better supply lines, Swapu was able to launch a serious guerrilla warfare campaign thanks to the hospitality of then-president Eduardo dos Santos and his predecessor, Augustino Neto. This relationship continued into an independent Namibia still cherished today. When uh, we say today that uh, Jose Eduardo dos Santos has played a role in the liberation of Namibia, we do not say so and describing him as a saint. But no one is a saint. It's clear that there are certain issues that ought to have been done differently. But that is what it is. It is for posterity to judge. While explaining that Dos Santos was also human, Dr. Ngorare said he stood firm in his ideology, though criticized by some. Those who have done wrong, uh, both in Angola, Namibia, South Africa and elsewhere, uh, they cannot be absolved by posterity. But the good they have done can also not be erased. That, I think, is the context in which uh, the late Jose Eduardo dos Santos uh, should be remembered, but also a lesson uh, from the past to the present and to the future. Some of the historic wars that took place within Angola's territory were Kwaito Kwanaval and Kasinga Massacre, where many Namibians lost their lives. Angola has declared five days of mourning.